How you doing guys? Today, I just wanted to uh, give you a little preview of a project coming up on the channel. I know you're saying, oh my God, not another K91, but work with me here for just a second. This was one of the uh, engine blocks from the three into one Kohler. It was the second best block out of the group. Um, the individual that owned or owns the three into one Kohler uh, actually let me have this block for specifically for this project that I want to put together. And what I want to do is I want to put this engine together with all used parts. Um, only one new part will be put in this motor and I'll get to that in one second. I basically have a bucket in my shed filled with, you know, all sorts of K90 and K91 parts that I've uh, collected as I've torn these engines down over the years. And I've called this engine the grab bag Kohler because what basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dump the bucket out and I'm going to pick out the best used parts out of the group of used parts. And we'll do that together in another video. And then I'm going to throw all those used parts into this block in order to show that you don't have to spend a billion dollars to buy super duper rebuild kits and all this stuff. These engines will basically run with sand in the crankcase, but we're not going to put sand in the crankcase. Uh, I am going to do three things to this engine, though, in order to give it a fighting chance to live. One, the bore's in real good shape, but I am going to hone it, and we'll take a look at that. It's, it's, it's glazed over. The uh, it, valve seats are in really good shape. Uh, I'm not going to cut them. I'm just going to lap whatever used valves we have into those seats. When it comes to the valve lash, I am going to measure the valve lash. Now, if the valve lash is too tight, I am going to open it up a little bit uh, to get it into specification. If the valve lash is too much or too big, eh, well, it is what it is. I'm not cutting the valve seats on this motor. I'm just going to clean it. So valve lash too much, oh well, valve lash too tight, we'll open it up just so it can run as close as possible. I have a whole bunch of lifters. You know, you're kind of supposed to keep the exhaust on the exhaust match to the key. We're going to mix match them all up. Doesn't matter. Throw them in the motor. I don't care. Um, like I said, used parts, used bearing plate gasket, used head gasket, used everything. The only thing I am going to use as new is a set of rings. Now I'm not going to use a Kohler set of rings. I'm going to use a Clinton set of rings. And Back in the day before the aftermarket had kicked in for the, nine, the K90s and the K91s, um, the NOS ring sets were, were quite expensive. You could buy this, this Clinton ring set, you could literally buy it for like $3, $5, uh, compared to like the $30 or $40 that the Kohler sets were going. And it's for this size bore, and it fits the lands of a Kohler piston. So we're going to use a Kohler piston in a Kohler motor, but we're going to use a Clinton ring set. And I'll get into that further when we get to that point. But that is the only new part that's going to go in the motor. So hopefully you will find this interesting. Hopefully you would like to see whether or not this thing is going to live. And then we are going to kind of put it through a torture test to show that it will survive and run and reliably and nice, even though it's made out of used parts. I'm going to take the good running Clinton motor off of my RJ35. You've seen that motor run on that tractor on multiple videos on this uh, channel. I'm going to take that motor off and I'm going to replace it with the grab bag Kohler. Then I plan on taking the whole package, this motor and my RJ35, down to the, 20, the 2022 Wheel Horse Show and ride it around. Now, will it blow up? I don't know. There's a probability it would. I think the probability is small. Will it smoke? We'll check the valve guides. We'll check our end gaps on the rings. And that's it. It shouldn't smoke. So, again, if this uh, sounds interesting to you and you would like to see what the heck happens, please like, share, and subscribe. Click the notification bell at the bottom so that way you know when the grab bag cooler comes up. And until the next project or the next crazy-ass idea... You have a great day. But what's different about this K K9 is I'm going to check the valve clearance um, or the or the, um, the the tablet can. Oh my god! How you doing, guys? Today I'm just going to.